go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, so Ellen and I, we just started talking about um, James Blake's cover of Limit to Your Love. Um, I you guys know, but it's a cover. It's a cover of Feist's song, Limit to Your Love. You didn't know that. Um, and you're, you're a new new fan of James Blake, right? A new convert. Uh, I think so. Yeah. That would be a good way to describe it. So, so what kind of you know, flip the switch for you? Because I've, I've played his music for you many times before. Yeah. Just in the background while we're doing other stuff and, and you're like can we, can we listen to something else? <laughs> <laughs> so um, what, what changed? I think IG Live. IG. IG Live, yeah. I do not live journal. Um, <laughs> LG, you mean life's good. <laughs> the appliance maker from Korea. They're from Korea? I think so. Oh. Also Samsung. They're both, I think they're both Korean. Maybe I don't know. Wait, life's good? Yeah. It's... LG. What's the one where it's a smiley face yeah. and then it yeah. And then it has glasses. Glasses? Yeah. We're, get, we're getting way <laughs> off topic now. What? What? Anyways. Warren Music. <laughs> Warren Music. So I really enjoyed his Instagram live videos where it's just his voice and the piano. And I think I appreciate uh, his, his talent more. Um, like, did it, the, did it kind Just of, his voice. It's like the no song was able to sort of like really shine, right? Yeah. With him playing piano and singing. He like covers of, you know, either his own songs or yeah. other people's songs. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I, when I went back to listen to the studio versions and then heard it on the subs. With the subwoofer. Yeah. Oh, that, man. So I. That was my first time hearing it with like a home system that could handle the, mm -hmm. the bass. It was. It, it was. was I could have just kept turning it. Yeah, higher and yeah, higher. higher and higher. Just like blast it, yeah, right? That's pretty awesome. So then, you know, being a Feist fan first and then a James Blake fan later, do you do you have like a feeling of kind of like, oh, it's hard to choose between, you know, you mean the cover that Feist's original did? and his cover? I think they're really different. So like James Blake's version of Limit to Your Love is, is fun to listen to because it's like an entire experience. If you, even if you don't have subs, like I was just listening to it on earbuds, it was like a, an immersive experience. And then I went back to listen to uh, Fife's version, yeah. live and the studio version, both versions, and even those two are really different. And I think listening to Feist, I remember like, oh, this is what it's like to appreciate a very delicate right. and beautiful, da, 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 da. like right. her, yeah, it's da, like a, da, da, da. She, she's it's like, very different. It's very different. It's very delicate, but very powerful at the same time. But, it's like a, uh, it's like a, a magical, powerful uh, fairy. Yes. Right? And then, but James Blake's is like, you feel it in your bowels. James Blake You want to go number like, two. It, no. You want to go number two. Just, you know, shake, it's more like, shakes you. It's not about James uh, Blake. It's yeah. about like stepping into his world. Whereas listening to the Feist versions, it's like, that's Feist. She's singing. She's performing. She's mm -hmm. like... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm watching her. You know, uh, so I'm it's almost like listening to he, he created a, a, a world you can step into. Yeah. Versus Vice is just, she's like, she's playing a really good song. And like, you're just enjoying listening to the song. Rather than being like. And she's an amazing performer. Like inside she's of amazing the performer. world of his music production. And she's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when she plays live, she is like not doing the same thing. No. She's 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 kind of delivering it differently. Yeah. I haven't heard the live one in a while. 
Yeah, I mean, I only listened to it one time just now, just only one time, so I have to go back and re-hear it to give more details, um, see if I can catch anything. But yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool contrast in, in how he kind of just took that song and then made his own. Right, 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 right. He definitely changed it and made it his, right? Yeah. Like, there are a lot of different ways to cover a song, right? But, I mean, if you can put your own flavor on it, that's special. And I think that honors the original most of the time, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but, yeah, like, it's pretty, like, it's one actually really good thing to come out of the, uh, the whole, uh, coronavirus thing is just, like, James Blake and other artists really, like, trying to connect with people online, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he said in one of them, like, this is, like, the biggest gig he ever played, mm -hmm. right? There's mm -hmm. so many people watching all at the same time. Yeah. Um, but... I just hope that followers or listeners, um, would respect musicians more, creators <laughs> more, because of this, Oh, know? because, because of, They're providing like, the free value. content, they're providing free yeah. content and live music for mm -hmm. free, mm -hmm. and, and I just hope that it becomes, like, a, like, no, but they're just supposed to, like, you know, be paid with your attention, right? Just pay attention and then they magically can pay their bills, right? I guess. Um, yeah, but um, I really also like the fact that um, you see all these comments from ladies on James Blake's comment feed during these shows. Like, Fawning over his hands. Are you sure that they're ladies? They're only hands ladies? Being, it's mostly ladies. How do you know? Because I'm looking. I'm seeing the names and the profile pictures. And, and I'm scanning. And then they they are like remarking that his fingers are perfect when he shows his fingers playing the piano. And they're like, it's, it's just really, it's not even about the music, you know? Don't, don't you love that? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've read the comments. You're, you're better than I am. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're stopping at uh, one of our happiest places. Mm. If y'all have never tried a place called In-N-Out, um, you're probably not watching this video. Maybe you're not a sentient being. What do you mean? Like you just, you don't know In-N-Out, you're probably not a oh. human. Just kidding. No, you just haven't been on the West Coast. But, um, yeah, we're at our, at our happiest place. One of our happiest places. Agree. Very consistent. Uh, what are some of the artists that you've been finding um, during this time of, like, lockdown mm. that have been doing interesting things besides James Blake? Mm. Radiohead oh, is doing hard. a new concert from new old concert thing that they're releasing every Thursday, and um, that's pretty cool. I, I hopped on one of those. You have all these people like screaming in all caps, all the lyrics. <laughs> um, we've been listening to Anderson Pack, right? Mm -hmm. Anderson mm -hmm. Pack, who does stuff with his adorable and super talented son. Mm -hmm. Anderson Pack is like he's he's a great. Um, Instagram live follow. Um, our friend Kevin, he's been mm -hmm. really, you know, working yeah, hard it's been, on the it's social been cool. media thing. It's been cool going into your, or your last oh, the open, open mic. mic. Yeah. The open mic. Uh, so many talented musicians, it's just people. Yeah, who knew? Who knew? Sharing their, sharing their, their gifts with us I think that that's been really awesome to see like oh you know these little space the space that you created to showcase other people's talents like we just need more of that space yeah yeah and that brings up another thing where people are worried that a bunch of music venues 
are gonna close after this, you know? Because obviously restaurant industry is in trouble and you know, a lot of different things are, are not doing so great right now, but music venues, uh, that's, that's gonna be something that's kind of scary if uh, music venues don't survive. Do you mean like <laughs> venues in general or strictly music venues? Um, like small well, ones, medium sized ones, large ones, like are they all at risk or? Well, different levels, right? Like yeah. the big, big ones that are well managed and well funded. You know, maybe they have enough to like mm-hmm. enough put away to like weather the storms. But the small ones, for sure, they're yeah. they're at risk. And yeah, it could be like all kinds of performing arts. But I think specifically, if you like, I caught an article on Rolling Stone about how um, music venues specifically are like they're numbering in the thousands and that are like they're mm-hmm. worried that. They can't make it. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, I'm about to order our food. But um, here, you should wear this. The ladies coming yeah. to your window. Thank you, honey. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> it's Graham Live. Who knew, right? It made it made the world. I was telling them that it made the the internet feel a little smaller. It was really nice. But, that's cool. Yeah, hopefully during this time, people are connecting. We're still connecting. We realize kind of more important, you know, those little interactions with with people are just more important. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, go listen to Limit to Your Love.